Fox 59's Alexis McAdams, who is live at the scene of that murder in Boone County. Alexis. Yeah, Dan, once again, police just telling us that the reason that Lucius Oliver Hamilton III shot and killed his 31 year old niece and her four year old son in the Zionsville home in this neighborhood was strictly for financial gain. And I'll show you here, there's still a pretty active scene. Lots of police cars were here. Most of them are kind of leaving now as they wrap up this investigation. And it's been hard to kind of give you guys a great look of the home where this happened since some of these areas in the neighborhood, they almost stack the houses up. So you can see this brick one here. There's a yellow one. Well, it's actually behind there where police say 61 year old Lucius Oliver Hamilton the third was armed with a gun and came to that home around 8 a.m. and shot and killed his 31 year old niece, Katie Hamilton Gill and her four year old son Raymond. Officers telling us disturbingly enough that the mom was found laying near the front door of the home and her son was found in the living room where he had been watching TV. So it's just been horrific details and it's been very difficult for law enforcement to keep releasing these graphic details and a neighbor found the mom and son and quickly called police earlier. Family members have been coming and going from the home all day. The entire neighborhood heartbroken and in shock that the preschooler and his mom who were so full of love and life are now gone. It absolutely makes me sick to my stomach. As I said, we all have kids here, and frankly, to be honest with you, I want to go home. All my kids are gone, but I want to go home, and I want to call each one of those, and I want to call my grandkids and say that this is absolutely one of the worst things that I've ever seen. Yeah, and it's been so difficult for the family as they come and go from the house that they used to call home, and now it's turned into a crime scene, so it's been very difficult to watch them on their emotional journey up and down this driveway all day long. Also, police and family members telling us that today was Katie Gill's 31st birthday. Once again, the reason for these horrific double murders is because of strictly financial gain, which police can't go into too much detail about this trust fund, but they do tell us that millions of dollars were involved. But we will continue to update you with all of these breaking details on air and online. Reporting live in Zinesville, I'm Alexis McAdams, Fox 59 News. Alexis, thank you. Still very difficult to process. Chairs are pouring yeah. in from all over central Indiana for this family, for that community. Let's go right now to Kendall Downing. Yeah, he's live.